That's the Royale House. So there we have one of these old Commonwealth signs for the Royale House. A really early oligarch taught at Harvard. Had slaves. The little buildings over there are the slaves' quarters. They're not half bad, I wouldn't mind living in them. I just wouldn't want to work for free. Although I have an almost similar arrangement now. And then we have an old bell. Cast around 18, early 1800s somewhere. Then the Royale House. We're Old obnoxious General Stark squatted over the course of the war before trundling off to get involved in various graft problems and afflict New Hampshire with the most belligerent and obnoxious state motto of all 50 of them, live free or die. Yeah, that bum crashed here. Right there, took it over. That's okay, we got to become America and do our own exploiting. Find our own array of colonials to make disgruntled. And of course the bus stops right here. This is how I used to pedal a bicycle coming down from Reading to do my radio show at Tufts in the early phases of my association there. It's utterly really mysterious to my poor grandmother. So yeah. Oh, this is, they want to let you know about the slave quarters. Here's the old wall. That's kind of a neat place. Looks like they haven't done much upkeep. There's the dump in all its glory. These are the slave quarters and there's the master's place. The walls, the somewhat newer tool shed and other amenities. Let's see what this newer plaque has to say. I think this handles the recent promotion of the slavery residents. What do you want to bet? Oh, it's a garden. I think we've got a little tour here. Nice. 27 slaves? Good Lord, this must have been miserable living in that tiny little dump. A summer house. Ooh. Here to have been a farmhouse built by Governor Winthrop in 1673. Well, that's certainly encouraging. There's a little garden yard, yard garden, something. There's the grounds with actually plants that are reasonably typical of what they might have used. What is this? Some edifice left remaining. It's echoes of a summer house. I see. Summers in Paris. 
So there you have the basic plan for early period oligarchs with a sad little fragment of the summer house. That's all that remains. And now I'll commence heading towards Tufts. Maybe get a little Potter House Park and some Davis Square.